Okay, fish on, guys. Good side one. Hey guys, aloha. Hey, um, just wanted to show you the two tools I use the most when I go, why not, when I go fishing, but before I go fishing. And that has to do with the reel. Um, the first one I used almost all the time is this little device right here. And it has a little button there. And it has a sharpening tool up here too. It's got a light on it too, a little light right here. Okay. Uh, what this does is you get your reel. I can see it. Here we go. You get the end of the reel over here. I mean, not the reel, but the, the line that you have. And you string it through this little, little hole right there. Can you see that? And then with this button, this big button right here, that one right there, you just put it through. And look at that, guys. Saves you tons of time. And that's what it does. Takes the line off your reel. And when it gets stuck like that, you just gotta pull it a little bit, it's stuck somewhere, and then continue. Look at how fast that goes. It's incredible. And this device, you can buy it for about, um, I think it's like 20 bucks or so. It runs on batteries. Once it's, once it's done, right here, you just gotta pull your thing out and lick it. Voila. Let me see, hold on. Let me just finish the line, get that thing out of here. So it's a little device like this. Um, I can't see what the name of this one is. Maybe you guys can see it. But I'll put a link below where you guys can find this. Um, very handy tool. Use it all the time. Bundle it like that. Boom, right in the trash can. And of course, the second one that I always use uh, after I do that is this little device right here. If you can see this. So... All right, so here, here it is, guys. Uh, what you do is, it's like a mini rod right here. Little screw thing here, you put it down, and then you get your reel, throw that in there. And I'm sure you guys already seen this one here, but just I just wanted to tell you how handy it is. It's probably one of the easiest way to put line on your reel. So here you go. Perfect. Okay. And then once you get your reel lined up nice and tight on there, you get your line. And basically, you got to tie the knot. Make sure you, you lift it up. Turn it so it doesn't click down. You can actually just... Hold on one second. Put that on there and put that on there. All right, you're ready to go. So once that you got it lined up like this, there's other little devices up here, up on the top here. You can make it a little bit tighter so it's not too loose. So there's one adjustment here and there's another adjustment up here. So. And these are just to tighten up. So sometimes you don't want your line to be loose. You can tighten up so it's nice and tight. So you can adjust the tightness on that. That's what it's for. And then once you got it lined up in there, just get your little knot in here. Um, I can't see, but go like that. Okay guys, so here it is. It's nice and tight. You got your spool on top. Uh, the line up here is in the two holes here. It just clips in. Not even clips in, just it's like a little rubber thing here. So here it is. And then you just start to 
wind it up. You don't want to go too fast, guys. You just want to kind of go on a, on a, a good pace. And if you loosen it a little bit, let's see where it's the thing right there. And you're going to see it spin. See that? So when it spins like that, there's no twist in the line. And that's it, pretty much. So I usually um, get to a certain point to stop the line and I change the line on a regular basis. Um, you don't want it all be salty. Even though you rinse it out every time you use the reel, um, the line gets older. So it's uh, prone to cracking and basically uh, breaking the line when you catch a good size one. So but that's it. That's it right there, guys. I finish when I get to that top part there, maybe a little bit on the inside like that, and then I'm done. And I just cut the line. Like this done.